Yo guys, it's another midweek car boot. Um, it is quarter to five, uh, so we're getting there nice and early. And yeah, hope you find something. Make sure to like the video, subscribe if you're new here, and also follow my Instagram and my Depop. It'll be down here at the bottom of the screen. Ryan's Finds, I H I N D S F I N D S. We're at the car boot. Um, weather's really good, so hopefully turnout will be good. Um, but yeah, let's go and find something. Either two of them for a tenner. You can't even find them out here, they're from the States. They cost about 40 quid a piece, 40, 50 quid a piece. Do the two pair for a tenner. Sell them online, you get 20 quid a piece. Yeah. That is the car we done. Uh, it was all right, uh, it was quite busy. Um, but yeah, bits came out slowly. Hopefully I'm gonna get some dead sort of Nike now. Um, while I was waiting, cause I had like another half an hour before I see him. Uh, I did like a few more rows and managed to get like a polo sport bag, which was really good. And like some early 2000s, I think, sort of gilet contrast stitch sort of thing. I'm not too sure what it is, but I'll have to do a bit of research and hopefully find something about it. Um, but yeah, hopefully I'm gonna go and get some more Nike now. Uh, if you haven't seen my last episode, go and watch that. I'll see if I can film it. Probably won't. I just folded it all nicely, but I realized I forgot to film it while it was in the car. Um, yeah, all those hats, which was sick. This is probably the best. They have a really good bit. This one's sick. And there's a few other bits but I'll show you them all when I get home. Right, so just bought out a load of stuff. Um, we're gonna go shoot home now and I'll show you all the dead stuff that I found and also the stuff that I found at the car boot. Um, but yeah, really good day. Um, yeah, super happy. <laughs> like and subscribe. 
Follow my Instagram and my Depot, it'll be down here at the bottom of the screen. Ryan's Finds, I shined yes, F find yes. Right, we're back home. Um, got loads of bits to go through. Uh, reckon we'll start with the carby bits and then just smash out all the dead sort of stuff uh, that I got from the same guy from the, it wasn't the previous video, it'll be the video before. Starting off the clothing, um, this is like the early 2000s, I think, um, sort of waist, waistcoat vest hooded thing. Um, it's contrast stitch. Um, I think it is from the early 2000s. It reminds you of sort of like the spliffy vibes really, but I don't know if anyone knows what this is, if it's a brand or it's just, it might be like some marker stool special, uh, but that's on the back. And then that is the front. Um, I think I paid like three, three pounds, maybe five. I'm not too sure. Next, we got this zip up North Face fleece, just a simple Depop seller, um, 15 to 25 all in. Then I found this Harley Davidson T from 2009. Um, Harley stuff seems to sell really well for me. Um, usually doesn't last more than a week on my Depop. Um, I usually sell it for around like anywhere from 15 all the way to 25. Depends how good the graphic is. Uh, this one's a bit average. Um, usually if it has like the standard stuff like flames, just good graphics really, um, I can get a bit more money for it. Uh, but I reckon around 20 to 25 all in, I'd get on this one. Uh, I think I paid two pound on that. Then I found some Reebok joggers, pretty simple, but they've got nice spell outs down the side of each leg. Um, I think I paid four pound for them. Easy like 15 to 25. Then the final bit of top half, which isn't dead stock, is this Rockerwear bomber jacket. I'm not too sure, I don't know too much about Rockerwear. Um, I think it's just some early 2000s brand. If it's like streetwear, um, I think it's more streetwear-y. I'm not too sure. Uh, but yeah, it's just got a big spell out on the back and then just a small logo on the front. It's sort of like a satin material. Um, I paid, I think it was like six pound for it, something like that. Uh, I've already sold it to a friend um, with that Echo Unlimited hoodie. Then I found some dead stock Fila um, sweatshirts, I think they are. I hope they are. I haven't taken them out. Um, he wanted £18 for each one. Um, I got three of them and I paid 40 for the three. There's still money in them. Um, I think I sold the last one that I found because I found one must have been three, four weeks ago. Uh, I think I sold that for, I think, £24 all in, something like that, um, around that area. But these are dead stock with tags. I reckon I'll get around 30 to 35. Um, I have to test the waters with them. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with these because they'll. I'll just make one listing and they should sell pretty easily for me. Then moving on to accessories. Um, not too sure what this is. I think it's like some, it's either a Frisbee, something that you just put on display or I don't even know, but it's just sort of a touristy fan thing. It's from the Los Angeles Olympics from 1984. You can see it there and it's just like a blow up ring. There's the back of it. I paid a pound on it. Um, just something that I'm gonna put on display really. Um, thought it was a bit cool. Then I found a couple of caps. This one is Giafranco Fur. Fair, I'm not too sure. It's sort of like a velvety, I'm not too sure, cord, like a really thin cord. Uh, but there it is, it's like a sports cap. Um, it looks like it'll be Italian, but like the care label was all in Asian writing. Um, I paid a pound on that, or maybe 50p. Reckon I'll get around 15 to 20 on it. Another cap that I found is this 101 Dalmatians cap, and it's got the ear side bits. Uh, I paid 50p on that. Um, Price-wise, I'm not too sure. It's not really gonna be a sought after item that many people want. It's got the 101 on the back. I'm not too sure if it's dated. I don't think it is, but obviously it's around the time where it came out, because it is definitely an older one. Another random item that I found um, that I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with it, but is a Balenciaga glasses case with no glasses in it, uh, but it's definitely an old one. See, it's got Balenciaga there, but quite cool. I think I paid two pound for it, something like that. Um, it's probably just gonna go on display again. Uh, might take it to a pop-up um, and see if anyone wants it, but probably on display. Then I've got the final car boot item, probably one of my favorites of the day. Um, it's a post sport bag. Really hard to find post sport in the UK. Um, it's, it's easier to find it in London, I'd say. Um, I've only found probably four or five post sport bits um, in the past like three years, and this is probably only the second one, which is actually half decent. I found the quarter zip, must have been 
a year and a half, two years ago. And then the other bits I found were like shorts and like the old t-shirt, um, just small pony bits. Um, but yeah, found the bag. I think I paid a pound or two pound on it. Um, I'll probably just use it myself, really. Uh, I've got another one that I use for postage and this one I'll probably use as well. Now getting into all the dead sort of stuff that I've bought. Um, I got it from the same guy that I found the stuff, not the last video, the video before. Um, if you haven't watched it, go and watch it because um, I actually get some good footage. Uh, but this time I didn't actually see him at the car boot. Um, I met him in a, I think it was a hotel car park or it might be in a petrol station car park. So it was a bit sketchy. Um, but yeah, I met him there and I just bought a load of Dead Sort Nike. Um, the main thing that I went for were the caps. This is literally the only thing that I wanted. Um, but he showed me a load of other stuff that he had to sell. So I bought a few things. Um, most of them just like to try out, but they seem to be everywhere, all over Depop. Starting with the caps, these are the main things I went for. Nike Town London, um, probably late 90s, looking at the tag. On the black and red tag, brand newer tags. Um, yeah, I asked him how many he had. I think I, I didn't buy all of them because he wouldn't sell me all of them. Uh, but I bought 21 of them. I think I've sold, I've sold a good amount. I think I've sold three or four of them on Depop just today. But yeah, Nike Town London caps, um, paid a good price on them. Um, a fair price, uh, still meat on the bone for me. I did initially buy them for an investment, but I've had so many people wanting them, uh, so I'll probably sell like 10, 12 of them. I'm um, not too sure, but I'm definitely gonna tuck quite a few of them away um, for like a rainy day, for pop-ups, um, and just to have in the stash. Uh, but yeah, that is it. Just fully embroidered, really good quality with the tags. The next item that I got from him is another one of my favorites that he sold me. Uh, it's like a center swoosh quarter zip um, in white. I'm not too sure about the white. I personally wouldn't wear it because it would just get dirty super quick. Uh, but you can see it's just got that navy, that navy sort of bluey swoosh. And then on the back, it's got a full embroidered spell out with a swoosh as well. Um, they're sort of tags. Again, just a really nice piece. Uh, this will all be on Depop uh, in the next week two weeks not too sure the nighttime caps are actually on depop at the moment um, there's only a few more left that I'm gonna be selling and then the rest is just gonna be stashed away next I got another fleecy thing uh, ACG gilet vest fleece vest um, yeah again with the tags uh, in a decent size I think it's an XL or a large XL this will be on depop as well there it is there just fully navy and then it's got that on the back. Next, I got a couple of sweatshirts. Unfortunately, they're women's, which I was really hesitant to buy. Um, usually when buying Deadstock, a lot of it is kids and women's, um, and I try and stay away from it. Uh, but he let me get one out of the packet, and the size isn't actually that bad. It's like a men's medium. I reckon it could fit large, maybe. It's quite big. Um, it's just got that embroidered text in the middle there, Nike. Uh, I got two of these, didn't pay too much. Um, should get some decent money on them. Again, you can just make one listing and then just put two on the quantity, uh, just to make it easier for you. Got a couple more items that I got for him. Uh, again, this one I was a bit hesitant on just because of the size. Uh, it's an XL, but it definitely fits a bit bigger. It's an ACG jacket. You can see it's just got that small embroidered logo there. Um, nothing too crazy about it. It's pretty simple, but just really good quality, brand new with tags. Um, and yeah, really good condition, obviously. And then the final piece that I got from him is another hooded vest, gilet sort of thing. Um, yeah, just got a simple swoosh on the front. Um, the colorway is not too bad. It's like a black and a mustard, and it's just got that big spell out on the back with a swoosh. Again, wasn't too sure on this one, but the spell out's not too bad. Um, in terms of price, probably around 30 to 40. Not too sure, I have to test the waters with it. Um, and had to do a bit of research. But yeah, all brand new with tags. Um, it was in this packaging. Uh, I've got it tucked away somewhere in the packaging, but I'm just gonna throw it away. That's it for all the dead sort of stuff that I found. Didn't really find it at the car boot, but got it from my link that I got from a car boot. That is it for everything that I found today. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new here. Also, follow my Instagram and my Depop, we're down here at the bottom of the screen. Ryan's finds, I-H-I-N-D-S, F-I-N-D-S. Uh, what else? 
check out my Depop because I'm uploading stuff at the moment. Um, I put my foot down and because I've been buying so much lately, um, I've decided to actually start uploading. Um, but yeah, check that out. Um, watch my other videos if you haven't watched them. Subscribe if you're new. Um, follow my Instagram and you'll see like snippets of what I found that day, uh, usually on the weekends and through that throughout the week, usually Wednesdays, um, but sometimes it's other days. But yeah, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Peace.